We are back with something I have always wondered about, and Dr. Darian is the person who's finally going to answer this for all of us. Why does stress cause heart attacks? Yeah, well, many people underestimate stress. When I'm talking to my patients in the emergency room, for example, who are having chest pain, we're asking questions like, how did you recently exercise? Were you exerting yourself? But questions that often get lost is, what stress have you recently had? Because many don't realize that stress increases our cortisol, that can increase our blood sugar, our blood pressure, and decrease blood flow to vital organs, including our hearts. And there's a new study from JAMA that looks to see what exactly is the risk associated with heart attacks and stress, and it found that in those who had severe levels of stress and a history of coronary artery disease, like high cholesterol, for example, had up to a 60% increased risk mm. of heart attacks and strokes after stressful environments or stressful events, which is why it's so important to manage stress. Okay. And how can you do that? Yeah, <laughs> you know, there are studies that look at stress and figuring out what are the best ways to manage, and we talk about them all the time, right? Number one, sleep. If you are sleep deprived, you are more likely to have high levels of cholesterol, more likely to have stress in your life. Also, other ways that you can manage it. Physical activity most always often decreases Increases stress. That can include walking, jogging, even cleaning up your house. And then other studies show that writing down your stresses is really important. Journaling, for example, can be really helpful. See, I, I get stressed then if I'm like, I'm going to journal, mm -hmm. and then I don't. I get stressed that I didn't yeah. do it. Cleaning my house does not reduce my stress. Oh, really? I, I love cleaning, doing laundry, For me too. and dishes. Absolutely. Love it. Yes. 100%. Um, but, like, I mean. My, only my house. Life is stressful. <laughs> like, how do you escape? Yeah. You know, it's really about managing, also, I think your interpersonal relationships, how you respond to other people's stress is so important. The majority of my patients, when they're coming in, it's usually an argument with a partner, with a child. And so, really, managing how you respond to others is really important. All right, Dr. D, thank you so much. No stress. Him. Yeah.